Hi, I'm a fifth grader, and this book is called Drita, My Homegirl, that we read for the summer. And here is a passage that makes me think about it. See how you like it, you bully! I scream at her. All my friends' faces look shocked. They back away from me, like, who you gonna hit next? I turn around to see where Drita went, but she's gone. Across the yard comes Miss Salvato. In that passage, Maxie stood up for her friend Drita. Hi, I'm a first grader, and I'm going to read my favorite part of All By Myself. I can help Dad trim a bush or ice a cake for Mom. Hi, I am a fifth grader, and this summer we read a book called Drita, My Homegirl. I am going to read you one of my favorite passages. But when Brandy hits me, I can't move or make a fist. I can't raise my arm to hit her back. All I can do is stand there with my hands at my side. Hi, I'm fourth grader, and I'm fourth grader, and this is my summer ring um, book, and this is called There's a Boy in the Girls' Bathroom. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna be reading chapter one. Bradley Chuckle sat on at his desk in the back of the room. That seat, that row. No one sat at the desk next to him or at the one in front of him. He was an island. If he could, could have he, he would have sat in the closet, then he could shut the door so we wouldn't have to listen to Mrs. Uh, uh, Edibel. He, he didn't think she would mind. She, 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 she probably liked it better than, better that way too. I'm a second grader, and it, this is my summer reading. Arthur's Back to School Day. I'll read you my favorite passage. Let's see, said Arthur. Norman took his baseball cards out of his lunch. Arthur took out his baseball cards, too. Here comes the school bus, said Violet. Arthur quickly put his baseball cards back into his snack box. Arthur got, got on, a, on the bus. When they got to the audition room, Mr. Adams said, Today is the first day of school. It is important that you learn some safety rules. Can anyone give me a safety rule for riding on the school bus and tell me why it is important? Hi, I'm a fifth grader, and um, I'm reading. I read Drita, the home, my home girl, and here's my favorite passage from the book. Oh, Maxie, Miss S says, I need to ask you a favor. We have a new student in our class. There's, there's, was there was no place for her to sit when she arrived this morning, and we and you were the only person who wasn't here. Would you be so kind to share your desk with? Brandy, or uh, your desk with Brandy until your classroom um, brings another desk upstairs for her. Didn't I tell you on Monday it's it is my worst day? Didn't I tell you Monday is my worst day? I look over the new, at the new girl who's sitting at my desk. I got to say I don't like her. I don't like. Her hair, I don't like her clothes, I don't like her face, and I don't like her eyes. She's the kind of person who's pale like a ghost. Um, you, you'd think she can, she's right, you can see right through her. The bus pulled up in front of the school. Just then, William's big sister, um, Mabel, Mabel rode on her bike through, through a lun lunchbox. Is this? Whose lunchbox is this? She asked. It's mine. He, it's mine, yelled Norman. You, your lunchbox was 
all over the road, said Mabel, but I picked it up in your lunchbox. Hi guys, I'm a third grader. This was our summer reading book. It was called Judy Moody Was in a Mood. Now I'm going to read you a passage, my favorite pet. It was Labor Day, a no school day. Judy Moody looked up from her micolage on the dining room table. We need a new pet, Judy announced to her family. A new pet? What's wrong with Mouse, says Mom. Mouse opened one eye. I have to pick my favorite pet. How can I pick, pick my favorite pet when I only have one? Pick Mouse, said Mom. Mouse is so old, and she's afraid of everything. Mouse is a lump that purrs. You're not thinking of a dog, I hope, said Dad. Mouse jumped off the chair and stretched. Mouse would definitely not like that, said Judy. How about a goldfish, said Stink? Mouse rubbed against Judy's leg. Mouse wouldn't like that too much, said Judy. I was thinking of a two-toed sloth. Right, said Stink. They're neat, said Judy. She showed Stick a picture of the Rainforest magazine. See if they hang upside down all day. Hi, I'm a fifth grader, and this is my summer reading book, Judah, My Homegirl. Chapter 8, Maxie. Do you want to explain your behavior, the principal says? He's as mad as anything. He's got his hand right on the telephone. All I can think about is my daddy's face when he answers the telephone at work and he hears I'm in the principal's office again. Please don't call my daddy, Mr. Littman, I say, trying to hold back my tears. Do you realize the damage you have caused? Who do you think will pay for that? It was a mistake, I say. A mistake. Well, I read that pack, the passage because I like that a girl named Maxie stood up for a girl named Gia because Gia was new and Maxie was already at the school and so Maxie hit this girl for Gia because Gia got hit by a girl named Brittany. So that's why I like this book because she stood up for a girl that she didn't know but she still helped her because she was new. Okay, well...